Tonight, more questions as investigators race to find a suspect in the gruesome murder of four college students in Moscow, Idaho. It's pretty traumatic when there's um, four dead college students in, um, you know, who have been stabbed to death in one location. The coroner saying today autopsies have been completed and the victims suffered extensive wounds after being stabbed multiple times with a large knife. Investigators now working to determine if the victims had defensive wounds or may have gotten the suspect's DNA on their bodies. Well, looking to see if there are some clues that are on them, so some of the suspects' blood perhaps or um, something under somebody's fingernails. Right now we're dealing with a period where we don't know all that much new information from the police unless they give it to us. And right now, today, we didn't get any new updates. And so we were digging into what we do know, something that we learned at the very beginning of this investigation, what police believe was the murder weapon. They call it a fixed blade knife. I wanted to find out just how easy it is to get one. And it turns out just about everyone's got one in Idaho. Detectives are back to square one, sorting through more than 7,500 emailed tips, more than 4,000 phone tips, and more than 4,500 digital media submissions, all related to the information they have put out publicly. A white car, an approximate time of the murders, and the suspected weapon, a fixed blade knife. That one switches out all the blades too. Turns out, hunting culture and owning knives is incredibly common in Idaho. Whether it's a hardware store, a sporting goods store, or an antique shop, you can find a fixed blade anywhere, and you don't even need to be 18 to purchase. Knives, no, you can buy knives anywhere. Nobody, nobody questions that. The store owners and employees I spoke to say they don't pay attention to who buys or think twice about their intentions. They don't discriminate or ask what they plan to use the weapon for. But after these murders, they say they may put more thought into it before selling. So this is something now you start to think twice about, huh? Yeah, I'm like, hmm. Well, and, you know, there's a couple things around that I think I hope nobody picks that up and comes this way. And I want to make clear that just about everyone I spoke to said they're cooperating with this investigation in any way they can. They want to see it be brought to a conclusion and justice brought to these families. But even still, Moscow police say they have no suspects, no persons of interest, at least that they're letting us know about. This is so interesting. Uh, look, I know that knives are common in Idaho. It's a big hunting area, so it's not unusual to have a lot of knife stores. But you were able to at least get to three of them today. All three of them said they'd been visited by the police. That's correct, right? Yeah, that's absolutely right. They said at some point over the last 38 days, they've been visited by police. And uh, again, just trying to hand over whatever they could to help uh, provide more context to the police. So, but the weird thing is, and correct me if I'm wrong, Alex, because this was astounding in your reporting today, that 
the police did not ask any of the store owners or managers or workers that you spoke with today. They did not ask them if they had sold a particular kind of knife. That question was not asked of the places you visited. Yeah, I had visited a hardware store, an antique store, and a sporting goods store. And from the owners, the managers, and the employees I spoke to, they all said that when it came to the around the time of this murder, the police did not ask them what kinds of knives they sold, what types of knives they sold, how many knives they've sold. Um, of course, this is only three of, you know, dozens of sporting goods stores and stores that sell knives in this area and of course in the greater area of Idaho and Washington only 10 miles to the west but you're absolutely right from the people that I spoke to today they said that as far as knife sales go that was not a specific question that they were asked because early in this case there had been reporting that one knife or uh, knife store or at least a store that sold knives had been asked about a specific kind of knife i'm just going to show it it's a k-bar knife and he was asked if he had sold a specific kind of knife like the one i'm holding and the answer was no that that store did not sell this this kind of knife so it's shocking to hear that those other stores weren't asked that question the other unbelievable piece of information i think you were able to get today alex was the surveillance piece like the police came and asked these owners or these stores if they had surveillance outside but did they ask for any surveillance video from inside where somebody might actually make a purchase of a knife yeah we followed up with these store owners employees staff managers etc asked them about that specific question they all told us it's pretty much been exterior footage only. Uh, they couldn't recollect being asked about interior footage. And just like you, Ashley, that kind of astounded me as well. I followed up uh, just within the last hour with the Idaho State Police trying to corroborate this information. And uh, the public information officer for the Idaho State Police said that they couldn't confirm which stores were visited, which questions were asked, who they spoke to. Of course, it's been 38 days, and I'm sure they visited countless stores. But basically what they, the Idaho State Police was trying to say was, is that we are gathering information about all sorts of um, business opportunities and operations, yeah. and it's all in an effort to build more content. So we did canvass the local businesses early in the investigation looking for a potential sale of a fixed blade weapon. Mm -hmm. um, through the search of those locations, uh, there, there wasn't, um, there wasn't I don't want to say successful, but there was no resolution to that, and there was no real help to the investigation. Might be a good way to say. So again, as part of the investigation, there are some details that we're not providing uh, for the integrity of the investigation. Uh, we are saying that it's a fixed blade knife. Uh, you know, it's come out in many different uh, online forums and as well through different news organizations. Uh, we have not specified a brand name or a type of knife specifically. Just in the event it was a fixed blade. Knife.
We have a special team of individuals who are skilled at watching videos,